Are we ready to go? We're ready to go. John? One second. Ready to go. Welcome to the... It's very good. Okay, it is. It's very good. Very so, good. you can make your presentations yeah, if you would. Ahead. Madam Chairman, would you introduce the uh, department? Oh, please? yes, please. Or he can you can introduce yourself. Yes. Uh, just John Blaisdell, uh, Facilities Department, Director of Facilities. Thank you. And may I suggest since George is here, maybe we start with the lab. We started talking about the lab. Lab, and yeah, that's right. Project. We might as well while he's so here. So George is here. The status of where things are. Yeah. yeah. And and then the then lab. We have um, the status on that. We are through bidding and um, uh, I'm to rephrase this. I guess the construction phase has been started. We are through the uh, some of the all the underground work, foundation, underground plumbing, underground um, supply, air ducts, etc. Uh, we're backfilling almost as we speak on the south side of the building, which is the side facing the railroad tracks. The contracts have been issued uh, and are out on the um, all of the facilities, which is the electrical, the plumbing. The um, stairways, construction stairways inside, the chairlift inside, the structural inside, the shell on the outside. Now, by the structural <coughs> inside, there is, you might, might, might not remember, we're doing a second deck. So the gym is, is, is a big building. We're going to put a second deck in the middle of the building, right down the middle, to create a second floor. Mm -hmm. uh, so that contract has been let. You should be starting that up within the month. This month, as far as the actual steel work going inside the building, um, the contract has been let for the shell, which means we'll be taking the roof off and doing the entire shell work, which will change the, the whole dynamics up there. Actually, it's be the biggest change. When you look at it now, to if you're not familiar with the process or what the building was, it's very hard to see what's really been done because it's all underground. Everything had to be underground. We had the jackhammer of the floor, cut the floor, put the pipes in for the lab, all the pipes, all the wastewater, mm -hmm. um, the underground lines feeding the um, fire suppression system, which is the sprinkler system. Um, in addition to that, during this whole process, we also put in a 12-inch um, water main across the entire mm -hmm. top of the hill this past year in order to feed all of the buildings and as you'll see in this in this report on my line items, you'll see uh, separate water line items for each of the buildings where before all the buildings from the White House going all the way across the top was all fed off of one meter on, on uh, over on Railroad Ave. We now have separate meters for each building. So uh, plus a number of fire hydrants going up there and taps off this water main for uh, your water fire suppression system, which is a six inch line carries about 200 PSI uh, in order to feed the sprinklers. But going back to the gym, uh, the gym with all the contracts that... Before you, look, before you leave the fire suppression, we're putting a lot of IT equipment, IT equipment up, up in that area. You also have to put in some type of pressurized you know, line to, you know, to protect the electronics that are part of that? Um, we're not, Bill, um, and the reason for that is really twofold. One is the the new room, the IT room, mm -hmm. uh, server room, has been relocated from where we were initially thinking of putting it in the gym, on the, in the section of mm -hmm. the gym. Uh, since we redid the um, West Wing, we have now moved it into what was the old meat locker storage area. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's in, the, it's in a different part of the building, in two separate buildings. So it's, uh, we're not doing that. At some point in time when the building becomes building in the old House of Correction becomes fully occupied and we have to go to fire suppression in there, then they would consider looking at that, but it's a very expensive system. Uh, Open Cape is looking at that mm -hmm. now with theirs, and they're just uh, you know, astounded by the cost of it. It's, it's a gas is what it is. Well, it's it's is. gas, yeah. yeah. And so, but uh, unfortunately, water doesn't work. Water doesn't work well with electronics. Um, fortunately, where we are, because of the fact that it was an old jail, correction institution, there's not a lot to burn in there, it's all block. Mm -hmm. Everything is block. So uh, the fire is not our major concern. Water would be a bigger concern and that's, we've, we've got drains in the room anyway to take care of that. So mm -hmm. 
Uh, but to answer your question, no, we're not, okay. we're not doing that. The other buildings, the, the gym itself, <coughs> the new lab, and all the other buildings will have eventually sprinkler systems uh, as the codes require and changes go on. But going back to the gym, uh, again, it's we, we've, moved, we've moved along well in terms of our uh, getting our contracts out, getting the bids back. It's a very long process, uh, getting the submittals in, which is from the engineers and the various vendors you're working with, getting them approved through the architects and engineers, getting it back, getting it back to the people, and it's, it, it's just it astounds me how long this process takes as you go through it. As a contractor from the private side, we've moved a lot faster because it was a lot easier. Yes, go with it, and now you just you go through the process of it again. And so it's it's a hair pulling experience. But at any rate, uh, we are looking at. This spring being closed in with a new building on the new shell, mm -hmm. cleaned up and get it set up. Um, all our permits are done, everything is ready to go. So it's, uh, I'm hoping, as I say in the mark yesterday, the meeting we're looking in somewhere in the uh, April range to have the thing closed in and ready to, to start doing some of the interior. Uh, George had mentioned that you weren't going to be able to do any of the interior work until uh, July. But, you know, what's the reason for that? Uh, well, actually, it's a it's a combination of, of different things that are coming up. Money being one. Uh, the second thing is timing. In order to, as you go through the process, we might be able to speed that up. Uh, it depends on how when the shell gets set up. All of the HVAC, for example, is already it's already issued out. It's already contracted out. It'll all be done. So the, the building will have all its mechanical systems within in place, since there are no ceilings on the finished building. Uh, you'll, everything can go in and you'll be, you'll be able to see all this and it will go on. So the idea of putting in the rooms of the individual labs um, could actually happen before that. Um, again, it becomes a function of, of coordination, timing, and as you get said and done, you can work together with other contractors, but you obviously have to make sure everything is sealed up and safety-wise before you can go in and do that. Well, one of the questions we were talking about in answering that question, Bill, yesterday was whether to try to do the additional funding that John is working on estimating. And I think you were using 600000 yesterday right. in terms of trying to finish up the interior. Um, is whether to do that as a supplemental and get it for this fiscal year or whether to put it in this budget. So it's that's one of the questions that we're sort of wrestling with. Is it timing wise? What? It's available. Well, we have a choice. We could do it either through the capital fund, mm -hmm. um, which is how, um, actually, we funded the million, the first million dollars we funded out of the building reserve. Mm -hmm. So we took a million dollars out of one of the reserve accounts that we specifically had set aside years ago for, mm -hmm. for building purposes. And there's still 800000 left in that line. Um, so we could take it out of the building reserve, or we could take it out of the capital. Are there any other plans uh, on going forward with the other wing? Hmm. You know, I've always asked about that wing. Yeah, the east wing you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, the east wing. The east and wing. the south wing. Those and are the, the south two wing, right. mm -hmm. big pieces. Um, in all honesty, I don't know. I think things change a lot um, as, as different groups and different entities come to you all and say, we'd like to have space, whether right. it's in-house or out-house. At the moment, I have a much better, I could, if you said to me, I want to do the East Wing now, I could give you a much better prices based on the West Wing. They're identical in size, mm -hmm. different, in, different on the interior, but identical in size and structurally identical. So we could blow out all the cells and do that. Um, and I could give you an idea of price, time, and everything else. I've mean, just been through that on the West side. The South Wing, and actually, Mark, it was funny, I, I did the measuring today, and um, the whole building itself is 40,000 square feet. The south wing equals uh, just this side of 15,000. Mm. There are three levels. Um, and they, that can be activated, and right now it's just, there's nothing in there. It's just abandoned, if you will, a shutdown. Well, there has been requests. So I, I am requesting that nothing is done unless there is a building committee put together that we take a look at that, that space. and really um, see how we can do it and talk to the people, bring in the people that have talked to me about being interested in in renting because it would actually create some revenue to help 
in the in the offset of those costs. Well, the east so, wing, of course, has got the best view on the cave. Right. Well. Um, so now that you've got yeah, higher so rent, maybe we should put our own selves up there as well. But right. however, um, but there has been interest, and I think that um, it, this is where it, you know I don't want to go another year without having a committee and bring these people together so that we have a plan going forward that is economical and uh, will uh, have some um, income being generated back to us, and that it is fitting the needs of the buildings around us, including. Uh, the district attorney has spoken to me about this, and um, I think that we could even look at the Cape Cod Commission because they're both paying exorbitant fees. They'd rather pay it to us than pay it to independents. What's the commission in space over there, John? The, over here? Yeah. They're in the 12, I mean, the most square footage. Yeah. Uh, the last time I looked, they were about 12,000 feet. Uh, so they would fit in the South Wing, basically. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, they would definitely fit in there. The, um, is, it the is there an elevator? There's no, no elevator. No elevator. So in order to make it a habitable space, we'd have to provide uh, access. When we did the, the uh, elevator down at the, at the district court, mm -hmm. I think it was, what, between twenty-five and $30,000? Oh, no, it was about 100000 Yeah, by the time we got all through, I think that ran about $100,000. Yeah, I still so just... 150000 in order to make that eligible for rental space. Right. Mm -hmm. um, if you were going to, yes, if you were yeah, going to yeah, set the whole thing up. Yeah, yeah. And the um, Open Cape would be able to give us a real good number because they're facing that right now with the uh, OBCI. They're putting in there. Um, there's a lot of pluses and minuses to the south wing. Space-wise, is there the building structure is fine. I mean, you have to do some repair on the roof and different things. But as of the moment, the building is um, occupied with the on the west wing, both floors. And the main, uh, the main building, if you will, as you look at the main structure, the three mm -hmm. floors there are occupied. Right. And then on the east wing, Cape Cod Commission is already in the um, basement level, far east side. And um, storage. Storage. Yeah, yeah storage. storage. Storage in there. And um, the, the peak group. So, yeah. Um, we had had questions with, from uh, EPA with regard to air quality and. Uh, Accessibility issues, uh, and I think that uh, you know, we would be reporting to the feds about that. Are any? Of, I didn't see anything in there that addressed any of that. We finished with that. In which we uh, Do you know was it accessibility or was it? Um, you mean on the federal thing? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're done with that. We're yeah. Done with that. Yeah, there's they're done. The I mean, we actually got a request for some um, additional information, pictures on some signs on one of the outer buildings, but. As far as the federal audit and that whole thing, it's all, it's all done. It's all completed, and as far as I know, they're, they're happy. Yeah, they're I think they signed out. Yeah, that. That's very important. Um, the windows. So we're going back to, I'm sorry, I just wanted to go back to the gym since yep. we still have charge here, and we haven't really, I mean, I know that this is a discussion that we have to have as mm -hmm. far as are we going to do before or after. And, um, you know, I just feel like this is a very long time. And, you know, the longer you go, the more it could potentially cost the nine. So, I mean, I think that that is something that we have to have a question, we have to discuss, but while well, George is here, are there any other comments or questions you might have about this, or? Well, the faster the better. Okay, I know, I, yeah, 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 I know, I, and I agree with but you. But I know the constraints. I agree with you. Are there constraints because it's a, it's a renovation? As no, opposed to building new? Uh, well, or is it building just new money? would require a lot longer process. A lot longer process. A lot longer process from the permitting and everything else would be, it's just, it just goes on and on. Plus the demolition, and going through the whole, right. the whole thing there. By doing what we're doing, we're way ahead of the game. Uh, you are limited to, such as the West Wing, which you've seen. I mean, there are certain limitations mm -hmm. to the, it's, mm -hmm. it's kind of a long and open and work right. well for us. But if you were going to build a new room, for example, for a conference room, you might not have 85 windows. And that's an right. exaggeration, but you right. wouldn't have all the windows. You might Actually, do other things. Actually, architectural design says no windows in a conference room. Yeah, so they could close it down. So there are some limitations in that part. Beyond that, the building is structurally sound. Mm -hmm. um, the systems are there. Mm -hmm. uh, we are doing, on the west wing, we put in a whole new system in the attic to, to feed the, to the main floor. Uh, and that's um, for the accommodation of all the people in the conference room. You get fresh air, heat, air, AC, and so on. Mm -hmm. As you look at the building, 
going further, then yes, you, it's it's nice to have an idea of what size and what requirements are going to be needed for the tenants. If you were if you're taking the Cape Cod Commission, for example, you would go into it and you would, you have a base idea of what they have over here, so you could right. convert that and it'd be relatively easy. All things being equal, of course. Um, now these entities might be in lease contracts that are different now, and this was a year ago, but I do know that the district attorney did mention this to me, it was one year ago, this Christmas, that he would like to be able to be involved in this kind of conversation. So he didn't want to do that. No, well, this was the, and maybe he's changed since then, but this was a year ago and things were going forward as planned. Right. But I do think that this is something that we should reach out and have a meeting and is there that interest and then, you know, have a plan going forward instead of just kind of, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't want that to be just pieced together when it could actually yes. generate income and, mm -hmm. and serve a purpose for the, for the people in the, in the complex area. Who would be responsible for coming up with a business plan that, uh, that looked at the investment versus the return? Well, I think that um, that is what a committee would be very good about, but John would have to be there because he would know the numbers as far as the construction, mm -hmm. and we would be able to put that together with what they're paying presently and what their needs are and what what would be an ultimate rent for that and if they're interested they're interested and if they're not they're not but it's um yeah, but I wouldn't want to go forward and and not have those conversations beforehand right one of the things the areas we are going to have more open is the second floor in the gym mm -hmm. at the moment that's it's a wide open floor originally George was going to move in and I think some of, the, some of the things have changed on that, so that's going to be an, another space that's going to be available. I thought he was building a loft. Well, it's a, it's a 5,400 square foot loft. Well, yeah. it's, it's pretty good size. Yeah. So you can, and that has a lift, chair lift and double stairs to get up there, uh, bathrooms, etc. cetera. So you, that is a space that could be utilized within house without any trouble. Or, or, so and that's what I, you know, I mean, I don't want to belabor it because yeah, there's I, really not a plan, yeah, I, but I, I'm just saying that that's, I request is, that and I think that that's very necessary. Is, the, is the requirement of the chairlift because there isn't an elevator? Yes. Is that the, why you it, Yes, it was, it was, in, it was in, instead of an elevator. It was, it was a, of an sort of a, a more economical way of getting around right. the elevator issue. Right. And because but, of what the building served and how it did it, we were able to do that. But wouldn't the elevator have to be built? As, uh, eventually, no, not in no? that building. In the, no, oh, in not in, in that the house section. of correction. Right. The, you would have to oh, okay. an elevator if you wanted to utilize on the but south. But not building. on the gym side. No, the no, gym okay. Side. So one is a temporary building, so-called butler building type of thing, and the other is a permanent structure. Well, it's it's the size. It's the the building. The gym is under ten thousand feet all the way around, so it changes the codes. Oh. So you're able to do that. And also, we, we have treated the building all along as a separate entity altogether. It's separate from the House of Correction. The only thing that ties the two together is a tunnel. And well, if, down, if, down, down below. In the basin. I remember And if that. the okay. issue came up that the codes and the state laws said or they were going to tie the two buildings together, which becomes a 40,000 square foot building, oh. we, were going to, we were in a position where we'd cut that tunnel off because it, it, it's a huge expense to tie those two buildings together. Yeah. Right now, everything is looking at it because it's a, it's a fireproof tunnel and it's just a, it's a small walkway to tie the two together. They are looked at, their water, their service, their power, everything is independent. So it stands as a, as a standalone building. Mm -hmm. um, so that's... Should, I was gonna say, John, maybe what we should do is, I think it's February 1st, is that that first Wednesday after we're sort of past the initial budget review is maybe take us a walk up the hill and uh, just take a walk up. Okay. around everything that is in the gym and in other and the west wing and then take a look at the east wing and the and the south wing just to see what it is. Yeah, maybe just have kind of a plan of what's already being dedicated to mm -hmm. use and by whom what's available for use right. and what could be available in the yeah. long term. Right? Yeah. So yeah. It could be yeah. square feet, you know, for the east wing and the south wing. And, and, and then we could reach that. out to see and if there there is could interest in the we, we have we something in hand to exactly. look at. Um, okay, so one, one, if, I, if I may, just to follow up on, you know, on mm -hmm. the, on the uh, let's see, occupying the space, if we're paying rent over the Cape Cod Commission now, and there's enough square footage in the area that we're looking at, would we also have to make the investment in, uh, let's say, in handicap access in order to accommodate the move from the 
Cape Cod Commission's office, which doesn't have an elevator. Plus it has a lift. Has, has a lift? Yeah, there's a lift in there. You're sort of, yeah, you're confusing two questions, Bill. And I sort of agree with you. I said before we sort of offer up space, right. we want to make sure that we, our space needs our are space covered. And one of those right. involve yeah. moving the commission, right. that's fine. Yeah. And it may the not, space, it in order to be used, you're going to have to put an elevator in. So you're going to have to renovate the space, put an elevator mm -hmm. in, and we'll have to kind of do the estimation on how much it's going to cost to do that. John, like he said, has a basis on a number, and I think for the gym, he's at, his number is two hundred ninety-five. Yeah, we're, square we're foot, running about two, pretty good. Two two hundred ninety-five dollars, uh, three hundred dollars a foot in that general area is what it's costing us, and what we estimate the cost will be, which is considerably under what's going on out there in terms of commercial and governmental bodies. So we're doing well on that. See, and the other thing too is with that gym area, you probably want to put people that or whoever is going to occupy that would be groups that wouldn't have a whole lot of uh, public traffic. Because if all you have, uh, for the second floor, because if all you have is a chairlift, no, you, you want to limit it to people who would have very little, if any, traffic coming in uh, that would be, that um, an elevator would be better. And as I say, this may be a mute issue that they might have moved on and, and brought themselves into contracts that they are <coughs> not necessarily uh, present when the conversations had taken place. But they were there, I think, that we should just explore it and then and go forward on that. And if I can go back to the gym for a second, you were talking about the sprinkler system mm -hmm. and the instrumentation and how expensive that would be for the IT. What about the instrumentation that's going to be going into the gym? Is that, that's all, I mean, I'm sure that's all been discussed well, and has, uh, considered. Um, there's a way the sprinklers are set up. You don't, if you get a fire in a little area, a bunch mm -hmm. of burner goes off and it creates a problem. Right. It, it will sprinkle that one area. Mm -hmm. It will not do the entire building. So you end up coming down. Now the different machinery that, that's in there could create a problem. I assume that would create a problem for you. Yeah. The insurance would probably take care of that in the terms, but it's isolated. It's not like the whole, the the whole, whole building. The whole so it's only that be. one spot where, where the uh, flame was or where the fire was. Mm -hmm. So, and that's of course that's how they're all set up. But the law, the law is pretty restrictive on what you can do. I mean, there's not a lot of guesswork on this. It's, yeah. You do this, right. and this is what's going to be. Okay. So what let's we, get back to July. We talked in terms right. of the timeline, and do we left. Yeah, that, I, yeah. I think that's that the question spring. for the gym right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I said, I said, I think that's the question for the gym right now. Yeah. Is whether we put a, a we put a supplemental together and issue it. For this fiscal year, or we put build that into the budget. How will that affect the timeline of getting the work done? Well, if John well, can finish the shell yeah. by April, right. then we're going to, as George said, we'll lose two months basically. We lose some time in there. But if the shell's not finished, then it's well, six of one, half a dozen of the other. But what makes the shell finish? Getting the money? No, that's no. that's done. That's okay. done. Well, that's, that's already contracted done. out. It's yeah. contracted yeah. out. We so haven't so finished good. the work. So we're just waiting for the shell and having right. it all. Yeah, we just issued the contract on okay. So they'll they'll be starting on it that. It may be done earlier if all that's right. If, if no everything goes well. Then we, once they get the shell up, that means it's it's like your home. You know, everything is shell. Only the difference between getting closed in here is our contractual arrangements we have ha includes all of the interior um, energy energy oh. producing AC, heat, oh, right. water, electric. That's all included now. So what we're looking at now is a building that's basically heated in AC, but there's nothing in it right. except a deck, stairway, a chairlift. So by, by we're not doing a supplemental, we're delaying any appropriation until July. So it holds it up a couple of months, yes, at oh. least, if especially if it goes to April. I mean, it yeah. might be even a little bit more if it gets done before. Question. That's the question, right? And if he finishes the shell in June, then you And then you can start anything. going, then you can readily start going forward with the next phase without having to wait till after July. Then Correct. you get the That's next right. contracts yeah. forward and that sort of thing. Yeah. So Same. I think it's something to consider. I wonder if this is related because you're removing old slate and asphalt from uh, the uh, top of the, you know, the house of production. Yeah, because when you're doing that, are you identifying any, you know, any structural deficiency in the, uh, you know, in the, in the roof support? John, uh, but we haven't left the gym oh, question yeah, yet, yeah. so hold on, hold on that question just a minute. So, I, I mean, I don't know if we have an answer right now. Well, I think 
No, I mean, I mean, we ideally, would, if, it, if it was left to me alone, yes. and just to say, what do That's I want, I'd say, say, what's the recommendation? The recommendation be, get the money now right. so we have, so, so we're in a position forward. to move forward. I would agree with that. But no, I do too. understanding all the things that you have to consider, yeah. it go, it could, you know, we could live by going it the other way, but... I tend to be, but, let's get the money up front, let's move, because that's right. how we have to move But anyway. it's harder to plan if you don't know you, you're going to have the money. Right. right? <clears throat> so you kind of, you know, that, you get into a mindset saying, well, I don't have the money, so I'm not going to pay attention to that, or right. whatever reason, I can shift my priorities. Mm -hmm. So then the question becomes, does it come out of the, the building fund or the capital fund? Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think we would... We would have to have that conversation, what is, yeah. what is more prudent if there's, if there's a difference. Yeah, right now, I'd probably recommend taking out of the building reserve. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're doing a supplemental. Okay, how fast can we make, move on that? Can we move on that next week after yeah. we've had it? You, well, the first opportunity to get it to the assembly is I would suggest I wouldn't have it ready for today. No, no. But um, you could do it in, in two, two weeks. weeks. In yeah. two weeks. And I think that's important. So we, we could if have we agree that it, you know, that, you know, to put the money in hand in order to do the work, I think we have I to agree. take those steps in order to get it through the process. I would agree. Yeah. So I think we should plan to Okay, do so that. You'll, plan to, you'll plan to have yeah, it in two weeks? In two weeks. Okay. That's all we can do for you, Just So we just, I just <laughs> need John to get me the kind of final number. Okay. 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 Um, is it time to go on to the right rest of the budget? Well, I, yes. Are you yeah, I think I'm pretty well set on that. And okay. I'll just, um, we'll keep you informed. And, and as uh, Mark suggested, we can all go up and meet up there. It also helps to, that, yeah. you know, pictures worth a thousand just so, that, yeah, just so that we can take a look-see and right. then we can yeah. have this discussion. Yes, and, and that, that would be a good idea. Yeah, actually, we could probably have a meeting up there in the conference room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be yeah. great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just putting the smart board in today. Is that, yeah? yeah? Well, maybe we should start having our meetings up there. We should, <laughs> actually, yeah. yeah. We should have our what? meetings well, back. Should because we move you'll the have, flag? Is it, have um, is it wired for TV? Yes. Yeah, it is. See? Mm -hmm. yeah, you didn't have to log all that. It would start well, looking well, like we belong to the 21st century. Yeah. We do have to move the flag, though, because I think that you know, all the time, the fact that we have, you know, we show the fish. The fish. I think we should out. have it, you know, tiled into the... Uh, tiled into the yeah, wall. Yeah, into the wall. Right. That would be nice, that would John. Be nice. Could you do that? Yeah. <laughs> um, for a price. For a price. Yeah. Right. All right, that's a price. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. Everything is a Thank business. Thanks, Thanks George. You're welcome, George. Okay. Thank you. Let's get to the budget. All right. Okay, the... the I don't know if you want to start on yours or mine. What I gave you was basically well, south of the line. I'm going to work this way through. But. My big questions were the White House. You right. have a lot of, ex well, not a lot, but you have some expenses yes. uh, related to the White House. So yes. I guess maybe could you tell me what's what's happening there? Aren't there? Yeah. There is. There well, there's actually the, the bigger expenses are in the farm, but uh, <laughs> well, as far yeah. as the increases, yeah. they all amount to the same thing. Over the last three years or so, we I've had nothing. I put nothing in the line because we were we were a level funding. Mm -hmm. I put zero into the accounts because they were the buildings were were doing okay to get us through those three years. Mm -hmm. Now we're sort of like you kind of got to catch up, right. and that's why what these are in order to take care of some of the repairs and the things that are happening within the building. Is there anything major in the buildings? No, yeah. but the uh, our household you know, so our household expenses are up. One of the ex changes I, I mentioned, um, if you look on my language, you'll see the um, uh, on the back page here this, where it's red. Uh, it tells you what uh, the major changes were. Some of it, like the White House, deals with the water, um, the new water main. And what I'm doing is before the water was, because it was one meter, it was kind of put into a, lumped into the county complex. Now I'm dividing it down because each meet, each building is metered independently. So consequently we took the money and putting that, we're, we're switching the money and putting it into that line item where it belongs. We're creating a line item in that building. Since now the water department has a, is billing us each building, each account. So it's a separate account. So that was some of the things that were increased in there. Um, and again, the buildings. Let me ask you a question. They, with most utilities, you have a you have what they call a base charge, and then you have a usage charge. Does this water department, since it's a commercial account, do they have just a usage charge, or do they have a, a base charge so that when you have three separate accounts, you have an increase in your uh, let's see, in, in, in that unit charge? And uh, no, actually, they they do it in a kind of a funky way, but um, there is a base charge. For each account, um, 
there will be a base charge on each account, but it's, it's based on a, you have to use a thousand or three thousand gallons of water or something in there. So you, up to that point, there's a base. If you don't use that, then there um, it's, a, it's a usage primarily. But there's a base minimum that you'll pay. What, where we're gaining, Bill, is that before we had two meters that were in the pit and on the road app. One of them was a big meter that used the sheriff used to use for the house of correction and it fed the, fed the fire hydrant. <coughs> that meter cost us somewhere in the area of five or six hundred dollars a quarter that they were nailing us. It was just to have that size meter. We didn't use it. We haven't used it since they left. So I tried to get rid of that when they left because it's just an expense we don't need and we use the other little meter. So what happened was that they said, no, they won't do it because it fed, fed the um, hydrant. Where now with our new main gun and everything, that hydrant is gone. The whole new system is in. That meter is, is leaving. So we're gaining big time on savings for getting rid of that big meter and having the little individual ones. Okay. So it's savings all the way through, of course. Not only that, we are able to now determine, rather than having feeding the whole area across, as an example, open cape and the sheriff have two buildings up there, where each one of them has a building. The water that fed that building, we were paying for it. Now, at the moment, we're still paying for it. If we choose to, if you choose to, you could say, all right, I want Open Cake to pay for the water, and I want the sheriff to pay for his water. It's easy enough to do. We just switch the line, we switch it over. To the we have, meter. Right. We take their meter and the count, and it goes over, and they take care of that. Right. Um, where before, we didn't have that ability. So it's, uh, it really works in our favor by doing it this way. Mm -hmm. We get it set up. So whether you choose to charge the sheriff for the open, open cake is yeah. a different issue. We can work that yeah. um. And then you'll see over on the same thing in the farmhouse, in the farm area, there was a big change in there. And, and again, and Mark and I talked about this as to um, some of the issues, and I do understand through sort of through the grapevine that you all were looking at the barn and some of the mm -hmm. other issues out there. Um, and something needs to happen to it one way or the other. It does. And you know, I was over there, if I may, um, I got my, my, my tree again uh, at the farm. And um, uh, it's a beautiful building. It it's a very beautiful building. And it, it's really one of a kind. You know, it's very classic. Mm -hmm. um, and when I was meeting with the village association, they're doing their work here. Um, a citizen came up and said, "You know, with that other wing that you have up at the, you know, everybody, everybody has ideas for here. You know, we're going to have amphitheaters and all of this." But um, uh, there is somebody made a suggestion, and I'm not, uh, you know, having like a um, an artist co-op. You know, where you can have stalls and people can rent that. They've done this too uh, down in Maryland. They would take old railroad stations and convert them up mm -hmm. in Lowell. They've done all of these types of things. And I don't think that it's probably appropriate out of a county building. I mean, I was thinking, you know, I don't even know if that's the ability, but when I started looking at the barn, I mean, there's a lot of potential there for um, meetings. You could rent it out for wet, you know, it has a lot of things that you could make it a, a hall, or you could make it maybe even something that could be um, complementary to the farm itself, which is arts, crafts, uh, that sort of thing. So, again, before um, you know, we say, okay, we should do some renovation here. Let's think about the plan of this building and what what would it ultimately become, and what would it what would be its benefit to not only us but to the community at large, and maybe even talk mm -hmm. a little bit. You know, again, uh, it would have to involve some input from citizens. And well, and then too, is they could do some fundraising. Well, but, right, and they could do uh, fundraising. But I, and could I see John's got seventy thousand in here. But yeah. that seventy thousand is it's to just flatten a, it up. It's right? just yeah, it's right. to put right. the roof because yeah. it's leaking. There's holes. There's yeah. birds. There's, there's the sidewall. You notice the whole it's gate gonna is pretty rot. Right. Yeah. So yeah. that's yeah. just basically to shore it up so that that could be considered structurally. Structural. But hasn't it now been determined it is not a historic building? It is not. It is not. I have plans for it. It was built in the fifties. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, so it, it looks, looks like it goes back to what? Well, the foundation might have been kicking around for a while, but right. the building itself, is, it's all steel underneath. Right. In the, on the basement right. level. Right. But the and walls and the, the walls. You had Sarah just, Korjeff over well, there and all of that. Right. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Is it really it's worth not, keeping yeah. as it's yeah. But as going it's, to your, your point, the one thing that you have to remember is that, the, that the, um, there's a restriction on that property. 
Oh. Ah. For well, but you can no. use existing buildings. Only for um, agricultural needs. Well, but, so say well, you I wanted to have You can't have do that, but you have to address it. So yeah, I mean, you have to get it by the Conservation Commission. Right. right. Conservation right. Commission. Have social but, you know, yeah. to go to your point, you know what you do is you got to get the building kind of buttoned up first. Right. And then maybe if you want to look at a model like we did for the farm, then at the farmhouse, the doctor's residence, where we put the... Um, the uh, thrift shop in there. Oh, yeah, we're they're the ones who board, brought all the money to the table to renovate yeah, that right, building. Right, but it could be a thrift shop. It could be a co-op. Well, I'm just saying the same be, model. It could be even so farming. So you have this community group could have that could put some yeah, money into the building and yeah. use them. it for... Uh, uh, Let them think about how to use it. You know, it. the um, farm... Uh, what do you it call it? It could be the headquarters of the farm. Co-ops or the... Yeah, yeah uh, farmers or market, farmers market, farmers market, market, market yeah. um, stalls, that it's sort of thing. Market market could be, could be, well, there is one, but it could it could extend in. You know, you could have it more sheltered. It's people. Could, well, you wouldn't have it compete with Tim. Tim yeah. is kind of the guy who brings the vegetables, yeah, brings, and somebody yeah. else brings fish, and somebody right. else brings right. arts and yeah, and, and baked goods, and yeah, and, and all that sort of thing. Things that come oh, there's, there's a lot of potential out there. It's a question of, of how it works with whatever restrictions and everything there are out there. So, so my question would be, how important would it be to do this now, as opposed to waiting until if we got the village association yeah. more involved in this? Well, if you don't do first, you have to get the structural. You can't offer. Oh, you, you have to do it now yeah, right. or fall. It's, 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 okay. it's heading that south at the question. moment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We have well, to. We have to have a sellable product. <laughs> so. but, the, but the question you raised is, is the condition of the building sound enough to, yeah, to make restore it? Or, is, or should we raise it and build yeah. a similar structure? Oh no, the building's fine. The building <laughs> itself is sound. Oh. What, what we have is a case of lack of maintenance and care for the last 20 years from primarily the sheriff. I don't mean to throw them out of the bus, yeah. but they had other issues. But you look at the side of the building, the sidewall is falling right, down yeah. in sections on the gable end. The windows need to be replaced. There's some no windows in some of areas of it. Right. Yes, is there rot? There is some rot. But structurally, the bones, if you will, are good. Okay. So it's definitely worth keeping. Keep in mind, though, when you when you take something down, it just changes the whole world because the codes change. Yeah. In order to rebuild that building, it would yeah. cost us a ton of money. Well, that's what you mean. Replace the building. Yeah. Rebuilding it is a different thing. Well, because you, you, you got to keep it within the within the scope. Be the same. And again, it depends on the percentage of rebuilding, et cetera, and so on. Okay that changes the codes that you have to upgrade. You have to bring everything right. up. And, it, and because we're a government entity and we're a municipality <coughs> type, we have to pay to the nose for that. Right. The first question that comes in mind, because many barns have been converted into residential, mm -hmm. and they've also been converted into commercial space. Right. Is it possible to, commercial, you know, say, to convert that into an office building, for example? At the moment, the way it stands right now, no. Not because of the building but because of the restrictions that are on the property. In, yeah. Well, that could be changed. It's up to you all. I mean, well, I, that's... The, no, but the office, an office building that, let's say, that supported agricultural you know, uh, activities, let's say administration, uh, those sorts of things, I would think that would be within the scope. If the agri... I, yeah. I, I don't know I... too much about the agricultural restrictions. Well, you have to, if you read the, if you read the restrictions, it, it's pretty restrictive on what you have. Bill Clark is out there because he has, it's agriculture, aquaculture, it's all <coughs> kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Same with uh, Tim in doing that. I'm not saying you can't do it, and, and as they say, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a but it, it, no, it's I think something that's, that to consider. I think what's before us now is, do we, there is a future life for the barn, there, mm -hmm. it seems, mm -hmm. and that if we don't do, if we don't maintain it and, and button it up, as you said, then it's going to well, deteriorate more. So the question is, do we want to approve this this expenditure right, to, the next year to, to preserve it? This expenditure is to preserve it. The, uh, the other thing that you need to consider or you should consider is you're going to sign a new lease with Tim, and at the moment Tim has control of the building. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you wanted to go in and use it and to do what you're all suggesting within three years or five years, I'm not sure how long that lease, the new lease did. Seven, seven, seven You wouldn't be able to do anything for seven years. So, uh, so we should maybe have something in the lease that... Well, you know, that is to say, 
Well, we don't know. Oh, okay. that's, that's something saying, you have to talk to Tim about. Okay, but right now well, you yeah, have an yeah, obligation yeah, to Tim Fryer yeah, yeah, to yeah, him to the uh, as a landlord to uh, to button up that building. Well, you, you don't have an obligation to Tim to do anything. No, you have well, the question building. before you whether you want to do something with that building right. or as a landlord. Forget as it. As a landlord, to, to maintain as to maintain the your investment. Yeah. Right. And there's enough buildings out there. Are three buildings. There's a building attached to the barn. And then there's the Heifer building, which is the next one to it. All are good buildings. Mm -hmm. I mean, they look like hell, but right. because they need maintenance, they, need, they need to have a new roof, they need to have this and that, uh, and some care taken. The little TLC, structurally, they're fine. Mm -hmm. That's the important question. It is, but if they continue to open them up right now because the buildings they have no windows and, they have, and it's open, it just invests, it just creates more and more of, of decay and rot. And without the historic piece, we just put any old, an appropriate window in. Oh yeah, I just put on a window that matches the barn, and so we replace what's right. there. I'm not worrying about too much, I mean, you have to go through the historic, but that's not an issue in terms of, yeah, because they're, they... They like respect. Yeah, well, well I have yeah, a different, really have a different thing. Okay, where yeah. are we going to put the wind turbine? I'm sorry? Where are we going to put the wind turbine? Mm -hmm. In back. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So, we can scale. Yeah, scale. So anyway, that's okay. on that. What you'll see is on the uh, on the red lines here. Those are covered up for the um, the newer increases, if you will. <laughs> and it's it's allowing us to kind of catch up a little bit. Also, the household wares, um, which is the cleaning, um, is increased, and we have not increased that budget the last three years, so we're going up on that. Um, Let's see. I also had put in for um, new fire alarms and stuff up at the House of Correction. There is nothing up there now. So we want to... Well, you've got the water up there. And you haven't got... The water's in the gym, and we have water. We have the main tap, so we can put the new line into the House of Correction. We do not want to do that right now. That is okay. it. But until, the fire until everything's figured out and what you want. You don't even want to go there, but the ability to do it is off the main. So it's sitting right there. Okay. What about uh, the other types of air quality monitoring besides fire alarms? Um, with the new section on the west wing, we worked with the uh, light compact and rise engineering. The engineers, we went through all that, and that has recirculating air, as is required by the state codes. In the basement level, the building, um, there you have uh, the heat pumps like this, like this here. Um, which circulates the air within the building, but they have the ability to open the windows. Okay. Is that a heat pump or an air conditioner? This particular one is probably an air conditioner. The one we're putting up, the, all the ones I've been putting in lately have been heat pumps for two reasons. One, the dollar difference between them is like 200 bucks, and the they're plenums? more efficient. I'm sorry. Are, are they air plumbs or water plumbs? No, they're just like these. Okay, just, so, they're, so do they they're, do they're dual? They do air and they heat? They do air and heat. Mm -hmm. okay, so the heat pumps backwards and you get air conditioning. Yeah, That's right. Yeah. But, the, but the problem is that the temperatures of air, you know, cause them to freeze up and you have to use supplemental resistance heat in order to overcome them. No, because I put them in soil. Okay. That's horse okay. and buggy that thinking, does, Bill. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, I have a question. I know yes. on five, number where five. you want to transfer the salaries from the old... Yeah, what is that? Yeah, what is that? Mean? H O C and jail. House of correction. Yeah. H O C The reason we're doing that is that my department is divided up into multiple, um, multiple businesses. <coughs> so if the employees get assigned different buildings. Ideally, if I could convince Mark, which I can't, to put everybody in the complex, then the state would pay a 55 percent of all the cost. But He's correct in saying I can't do that because, you know, this, we have other buildings we're taking care of. Oh, so if it was just primarily that building and no others? If we had just the house, if we had just the house of correction, for example, we pay that cost. And so what happens is the before we had people in the old BCI, which is now open cable, mm -hmm. we, all I'm saying is we're going to take that cost center from BCI and put because that person is now in the House of Correction. They travel around the complex, but okay. they're now, it's, it's an assignment. <coughs> All it is is paperwork. It's just yeah, an okay. thing. I, like okay. Yeah. But in reality, it, by even doing so, you can't legitimately, is that what you're saying, Mark? You can't, it won't really. Yeah, 
Well, ideally, not, not ideally, if, you, ideally, if we could sign them all. Stay out of trouble. Well, that's right. I mean, ideally, if we could sign them all to yeah. Orleans. Yeah. Orleans is yeah, a 98% percenter. We could do put get everybody at Orleans and they pay a 98% of it. Until right. the point in time that they did their yeah. annual <laughs> audit and right. say, well, those people aren't working at we Orleans. We don't want to be yeah. like two. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think that's going to work. No. We don't want to be a nice try. It's a nice idea. Good discussion. They actually look. <laughs> we don't want to be like the commissioners in Cairo, the county. Yeah. 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 No, you don't. No, you don't. No. Yeah. So, so we, no. we want to stay on the up and up. Yeah. We don't want to go to jail. Yeah, well, <laughs> Queens for trying. And lose our job at <laughs> the same time. They had a couple of questions on the. You know, but we didn't bite, so. All right. Now, there, well, we're, are there any other questions on the, on the line items? I, I think there are questions. I think there on your number two, John, we're doing design services for new heating and AC system, and I assume that's just that. Is it anywhere else? At second district. That's second so district, right? What's going on oh, with second, second district? district? Second like district. you say, that's all the state. It's sort of, you know, why mm -hmm. do we care that much about oh, that one? District. Well, so only we only from the standpoint that all the the units that are in the unit vents that are in there are original. the same units in the windows. Right. Yeah, they're in the windows, and the system itself is okay. But the units are breaking down because they're, well, it was built in the 70s, so it was actually born in the 69. Those are original. We can't get parts. So we're looking at what is the best way to um, come up with a change in the system over either buying new units to replace those. And of course, when you get into that, then you get into well, what's the most efficient heating system. I put a boiler in there my first year here or second year here. And um, they're now looking at it and saying, well, that's only 85% efficient. You should actually go to others in order to increase the efficiency. And the gas company has a wonderful, you know, wonderful thing right now that they'll help us pay, which I think is awful. But they all say that. They all say that. And so we're looking at what, what this is, is it's looking at the engineering and the cost to convert the building, putting in a new chiller, which we put in a year, uh, not a year, but 10 years ago now. Is that an absorption one or just a regular compressor? Well, it's a regular one, just a regular one. Yeah. So what they're talking about now is a whole new system, which would be going in. This is the engineers that are talking mm -hmm. about that. I don't have any cost on that yet, but that's what that is. We're, we're trying to analyze the building and make it more efficient to run. And of course, they all, again, the gas company, the electric company, just love us because they think we're going to save a ton. That's what they think. So getting back to the boiler, um, the boiler usually relies upon you know, yeah. upon the vessel we, creating huh? steam. Okay. Well, there's a hot water down there. Oh, forced hot water? Yes, forced hot water. Yeah. That has a longer life. Yeah. So the, the system is done well, but it's just <coughs> like we replaced it in the first district and second district are built about the same time. We replaced all the ones in first district. I said we actually, the state did. They came in and we, and we did that. Five years ago, I think. Okay. Yeah, more than that. Okay. Since, 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 yeah. since you brought up the forced hot water. You know, All right, where are we? On the, yeah, on the jail, for example, when you're removing the slate and the asphalt roof. Yes. Uh, if you haven't uncovered any you know, any structural deficiencies, are there any consideration given to either using a passive, you know, it's a, 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 a solar assisted. Uh, water circulation system or PV to go on top of it to reduce you know, for the fact of some energy costs? Um, yes and no. We've been working with uh, Maggie on some of this stuff with the uh, solar. Um, we had a company come over. She actually, she had a company come up and they went around the whole complex to see whether or not we could put solar panels on the roofs of the different buildings. Okay. Um, I'm not sure at the time whether we had control of the, of the house of correction or not. The, the, the roof could be used. Part of the, the interesting thing was on First District, we couldn't do it because of the shadow from the tower. That was, actually, that was the only building that made sense, sort of, economically, it's not quite the right word, but it, I think that is the word, in terms of roof space. Right. Uh, this building didn't work. Surprisingly, Register of Deeds building didn't work because of all the equipment mm -hmm. that's up there already. Um, I think they did look at the house of correction. I'd have to check on that. I know the first district was fine except for the tower. It's hard to believe that the shadow from the tower would do, would mm -hmm. take away whatever mm -hmm. the engineer right. would do. Mm -hmm. The south wing of the house of correction is flat, and that could that's pretty good. That's 13,000 feet. So you could, I'm sorry, that's not 13, it's... Um, you said it was 15,000 feet. It's got to be 5,000 yeah, 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 five five five. feet. Yeah. 
that you could put up there. But again, you, the, the tower still could affect that the radio tower from the shed because it's the way the sun comes. But um, so we haven't done a lot of that. But that's what have we have been working with Rise and, and Cape Light on that to see what could happen. And of course, then you get involved with the historic and everything else. Well, we were thinking about the gym too, but I don't think the gym, the gym room faces the was, wrong way. Um, yeah, maybe it's situated. Right, it's situated. The gable runs north south. And we, have, we do have lights and skylights and different things within the gym to help uh, to heat that and work with that building. Um, in regards to the removing the asphalt and the slate, the roof underneath that, uh, and particularly in the section we're talking about, on the east wing is, um, the roof is made up of, uh, I think they're about 18 by 3 foot concrete squares sitting on top of a steel girder system. Very structurally, I mean, the thing is beautiful, and it's like, why do you? Why would you want to change it? So the, the asphalt, I mean, the old slate, which is the original from the 1930s, it just sort of breaks down with the air, and and you know, the everything that's going on shatters. Yeah, it's been breaking a crack, and they replace some of it with uh, asphalt in different places and rubber roof. It's got a variety of things on it, so um, and it leaks. So we were, we've patched the leaks now, so since we've taken the building over, we've stopped the leakage, but the roof needs to be addressed. Okay, does it, you have to put a membrane over the whole roof, or you just continue with it, is this just patching? No, I would take and take the thing off and, and put a hole in the roof on, is what we're looking at. Well, I think we should get some closure, though, on the yes. solar, <coughs> because, I mean, we are the county, we promote right. solar, we right. should, um, we should be. I'll have to check with them. I, I agree we can certainly uh, go through that. And I know they were working on it, and I had talked with um, uh, Maggie on that. Yeah, we went through this whole process. And there's not an open, not an one, open so, site. And yeah, not, there's not an open not space for an off-site that's yeah. not necessarily on the building. Well, we were thinking about doing it at the farm in the north sort of area. North 40, whatever you want to call right, it. Yeah. Right. Thinking about that. Because we had looked at a wind turbine for that, but you have a height restriction because of the airport. Right. So you couldn't right. do like a, a industrial, like a 400 foot right. turbine. You'd have to do like they did over at the um, wastewater treatment plant, something like a, I think those are 100 foot. Right. Foot or something. Yeah. Yeah. Are those economically feasible? If, are they generating? If you get somebody to pay for them, they are. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> None of the, but none it would of take they got grant money for those okay. terms. Yeah. So yeah, they're none for them. Are for them it, it, no grant. No, yeah. they aren't. And I, I think you'd also run into a huge problem out there with the people and the, and the arguments of wind right now. Well, so I think you have, there's no utilities out there, so you got to run your own. Well, you got two two major lines that run through that farm. Two major. Uh, Not near the back, though. Yeah. 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 One, one so runs all the way across the highway. You can actually generate something within that scale. Is that a transmission line? Yeah, huge transmission lines. Well, they, maybe they what cross, we could do is maybe have you and Maggie get together and come back to us with some sort of a, yeah, a response to the issue of where can we utilize oh, yeah, she, any Maggie types of renewable question. energy. I think in my mind, the only question is did we look at the jail and house of correction? Right. That I'm not I don't remember. I know we talked about it briefly. And then they talked about putting them on the pad. Yeah, exactly. But that was a that's like I think she's got like six or seven. Uh, she's got six of a lot of a light bulb, a light bulb, yeah. a lot light bulb right. which is uh, yeah, it was sort of doing a demo demonstration yeah. thing, so, yeah. yeah. On the ground, ground mounted. Well, I think that we can continue, you know, if we're going on our tour in a couple of weeks, we're gonna be talking yeah. about some follow up on some of these numbers mm -hmm. and maybe we'll even take a look at the barn again on that one or somewhere in that day just to just to see mm -hmm. and, and go from there. One of the things going briefly on the um, south wing up there, we um, they the south wing has heated by water where the main building's heated by steam. Mm -hmm. oh. And the because it's water it's more efficient than the steam and because of the 350 odd people they had up there, or whatever it was, right. we had a huge, huge water tank that was heated by two separate 800,000 BTU boilers, water boilers. So we've been looking at that. We can um, that old water tank is abandoned. I mean, we don't use it. Obviously, we don't need it. But we can convert the um, uh, those two water boilers that fed the domestic hot water to the heating system on the south side which would be far more efficient. 
So go mm -hmm. there to eat that building road. And if you wanted to eat it, you could eat it. Just turn it on. Right. Basically eat it. Point that out to us when we're taking our yeah. mail. So, I mean, there are some That's advantages to the building as it sits there now. Mm -hmm. um, particularly what you would, what the energy folks would be looking at would be whether or not how efficient the boilers themselves are in doing that kind of a change. Mm -hmm. Right. That sort of thing. But the yeah. in itself is too bad, depending on what you want to do. Okay. So what's the age of those? That was built in the 50s. Well, the yeah. boilers themselves are new. Um, are relatively new. I'd have to <coughs> I think the sheriff put those in, right? The yes, state he did. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say in the 80s. I mean, they're not mm -hmm. super new, but there's nothing wrong with them. Right. Either. The but they may not be as efficient as what has come down the line since. Well, they're probably 85% efficient versus 95 today. Right. So what's the cost change over on the time yeah. that it takes? It's I mean, what's your pay? To take a look yeah. at it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's but it still is a safe. point of time of delivery yes. and not during the operation without maintenance. Yeah. Okay. I have a question with regards sure. to facilities. Um, it says okay, replacing old carpets. I, okay. I have a I thing about an institution of buildings of using carpet, which you know, tends to provide what I call a certain degree of hazard because mm -hmm. it breaks down and you have to use duct tape or something which affects the appearance uh, of it. I can answer that very easily. It's a generic. The term generic carpet is, is generic in the sense I have, by the state rules, if you will, or suggestions, not rules, suggestions. We've been putting tile everywhere. Good. Um, because of the issues that you would bring up from the, all the, the different um, also the molds and the mold and the allergies collected underneath right. Um, so we've been putting tile in. The only places that we put carpet in usually are in smaller offices where people might have a have an issue with uh, uh, on the floor, particularly up at the House of Correction. The floor is so bad, and to, I mean, it's, you don't want that easy enough. It's just it's like this. That makes it very difficult and, and highly expensive to put carpet down. You put tile down because it's not a flat surface. Can't you paint it? It's not. You can paint it, but it's awful it's hard still and cold, and it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it doesn't necessarily work. So we do use carpet in some of the areas where I can get away with using the tile. I use the tile. Okay, but getting back to the you know, to the to the floor problem, mm -hmm. it seems to me that area rugs would do the you know would, would do the same thing in terms of you know, reducing. The, you know, the impact of the coldness of the floor. Well, I think those are worse. Those are worse. You get trip problems. We don't use trip. First of all, the insurance right. wouldn't like area rugs. Mm -hmm. My cleaning people would be would walk off the job on area rugs because mm -hmm. you've, you've got to mop the floor, clean the floor, and back in the rugs, the rug. and back in the rugs. <laughs> it's like to get them, get them out of here. Right. Okay. Good. All right. We need to elevate this. To yes. This, to the, <laughs> all right. Is there a, a final... Or we yeah, yeah. Anybody? I any had, uh, well, I had a couple of Okay, then let's okay. go. Yeah, right. yeah, you've answered We're just going to be delayed. Yeah. Yep. You talked about the windows. Um, let's see. Uh, and you talked about the slate. Uh, and what's the other thing? What else? Uh, hard. Uh, oh, how to maintain services. You already talked about that. Now, where, where are you in what you yeah. need to Did you? Uh, this uh, I'm looking at our new initiatives. New initiatives. Here we go. Okay, okay. this is on the oh, our maintenance position. Yeah. Maintenance custodial. position oh, and yeah. custodial position. Okay. New and under your... Okay. So I guess the question is, how many more buildings are there? Well, I mean, it depends on how much you, what you look at and what we do. Right. We've increased considerable number of buildings um, that we take care of now. And um, my staff hasn't increased since I've been here. No. Oh, that's not true. We did, did, did increase you. Yeah. You gave me, you gave oh, me a half right. a janitor. Oh, no, 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 no. Half a janitor recently. That. Last half a janitor, yeah. yeah. And, I, and I got a temp now, but... Okay, um, so your maintenance position, right? The maintenance position and the cost to the county would be 18. And State. this would be for, oh, just general maintenance because of the additional yeah, buildings. Right. We, we right. averaged out about... Three and a half people per day to take care of maintain everything. That's maintenance. Three and a half people to cover all of the. Yeah. It's roughly half a million square feet, but off and on, and depending where you go and in different locations. <coughs> Excuse me. And the um, custodial position. Again, we're cleaning more buildings. What's happening is, and the way we've been able to do it is by reducing the a number of return trips, if you will, to each of the buildings. The main buildings we're required to take care of, we, we, we clean all the courthouses and the main buildings on a daily basis, from the bathrooms to the floors to whatever. On the outbuildings, which would include 
like Cape Cod Commission, um, the House of Correction, the White House, the farm, the uh, Cove. Mm -hmm. We've reduced it down to one or two days a week. Um, and then of course what happens is, yes, you can maintain it, you can try to keep it up, but eventually it starts to wear down because you're not cleaning them as you should. Right. And uh, so that's, and those buildings also have been increasing with the number of bodies in them, which increases the number of time that a person has to be there from the buckets they're emptying to everything else. So it's, yeah. if you just took the Cape Cod Commission, for example, I don't mean the commission, the, well actually the commission is part of it, but um, Cape Light Compact mm -hmm. and the IT department, just those two departments that have come up relatively new over the last 10 years or so. I mean, it's a huge number of people that we have to deal with and go through, and I'm still dealing with the same bodies. Same okay, people. well, getting back, when you bring this up, I, I was under the impression that although we might have only have about 178 and a half or 179 FTEs, and about, was it 299 when we take a look at, you know, let's say, the total component, the seasonal and grant employees, yeah. I don't believe that that figure, that income figure has changed in the last five years, has it? Uh, probably not. I'm probably much the same. So I guess the question is, you know, where, you know, if we've had the same situation for five years, mm -hmm. we've got to the amount of people that, you know, they're occupying the space, have they changed their location in terms of where they are? Is, is in that some cases, they have the whole house of correction is yeah. all changed. Yeah, the whole, there's a whole expansion. Plus, the, the, if you just take the IT department, they went from two to five or six people. Mm -hmm. Just that one department, uh, and over on the Cape Light, they've increased people. Mm -hmm. The state, it says the state used to increase people. They pretty much, <laughs> pretty much cut it off right now. Yeah. Yeah. Although Jack has gone down, you know, Jack has yeah. gone down. Means down, so, down. So, so although the way I'm, I'm sensing <coughs> the stability in terms of total employment, you're saying that uh, you know that there's been attrition over there, and it's been balanced off by the additions over here as far as yeah. Yeah. And 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 the space has increased. In the no space, that's about. what you're speaking of, is, yeah. is on top of everything, right. is that there's added, there's added space. huge buildings right. that yeah. you know it's not just going from over right. that building to this building mm -hmm. to the commission of the cove. Now you have. We continue to get kudos because of the pristine condition that the buildings are maintained in, and you know and your staff has done a great job as far as maintaining the reputation we have. Mm -hmm. When you come to Bonserville County, whatever building you go into with it's under our control is a building that you can be proud to enter into. Which, which we try to we try to maintain. Yeah. And what I'm saying really is it's it's getting harder and harder because of the, the number of buildings has increased, the bodies have increased, and the square footage, it's not only just the number of buildings. You take the, the House of Correction, it's a big building to take care of. And each one has a variety of different bathrooms. It takes time as well as we are doing a combination right now, going back to the maintenance issue, we are able to keep our numbers at 290 to 300 because we do a lot of our own work. Mm -hmm. you know, we're, we were, without going out to bid and stuff, we were able to convert the house of correction within the house with doing all the steam systems and everything else because we have the people here to do it. But that takes away, again, from some of the other things. And one of the issues that we have now is like the condition of the uh, the bathroom is over in First District, but we have kind of a rough clientele over there, and they're they're rather rude on. Oh <laughs> my God! I, I don't know about in the men's room, but the women. Well, the women are worse than men. Yeah, it's really bad. Actually, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, the women are terrible. We're getting uh, well, the room. things that they so, write is just uh, too it's much. It's just awful. And the, if you just take the the we just redid the bathroom in the juvenile section, the men's room. We just went through the whole thing, and I'm looking at trying to come up with um, stall walls so they can't scratch on it right on it because when they get upset they're right there or they right. take magic mark whatever they take they do and i've got through working with the schools we came up with the same thing they're trying to use now which is a it's a solid material rather than the metal that's got paint this is a solid plastic material that goes right through but each bathroom when you put two or three stalls in it runs just to buy the the, the walls is about four thousand bucks so wait a minute. If you use a two-part epoxy, the epoxy does not take, you know, you know take my magic markers off. No, the but, it it. but it takes keys and it takes scratches. Yes. I mean, believe me, they if they can't yeah. mark it with a magic they'll marker, they'll figure it out. They'll yeah. figure it out, and they do it. All you have to do is go into the ladies' room. I know. Room. I know. It's, it's really amazing. My point is that we are doing. We're trying to keep up with some of that stuff that goes along, but we're also trying to increase what we have up the hill, so it, it stretches the bodies. And, and with trying to trying to get accomplish what we need, 
something has to suffer. Either you're going to go out and get other people to come in and do it, which is a cost, or we're going to have to take the, bite the bullet and see if we can get an additional body to help us. We've been working with Mark. We have got an additional temp that we've been working with as a carpenter um, for working with the gym and so on. <coughs> and he has been able to do, he did all the trim and all the stuff on all the windows up there. You know, which were yeah. when you go in that carpet <coughs> and all those windows, everything in the windows, he's done all those windows, mm -hmm. along with other things. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just as we get bigger, what I'm saying is it's 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 harder and harder to maintain what we like to maintain and, and the quality we want to maintain it up. Mm -hmm. So it's uh and of course this time we also get the state to help us pay for it. Well I I'm not sure I would agree with that. I know you and I always <laughs> because the state doesn't <laughs> occupy the House of Correction, they don't occupy the White House, you know. So there's a bit of ledger domain there <laughs> suggesting that. And there's, a, there's another, not directly related, but when we deal with the Department of Transportation over the RTA, one of the, you know one of the issues becomes that you know that uh, we for many years we're putting you know we're permitted to put in new initiatives, right. and then when it came time to collect the money from the state, so what'd you do that for? So they're trying, you know, they're trying to, you know, to change it. So the state might have policies that suggest that they would support these mm -hmm. things, but the the delivery, you know, tends to be a little bit uh, you know, spongy. Oh, it, it does. I'm not unsympathetic. I right. really no, not. I'm not. I, I, think that there's I, I think this year, unfortunately, or 2013, you know, we're going to be in a mode where we're going to be looking for savings, not opportunities to spend more, mm -hmm. because I think we're going to have to bring back the registry revenues. I just think that they're not there, you know what I mean? And, you know, it's just not going to be there, I don't think. So well, that's going to well, be a problem. Well, we will have that revenue discussion, have that discussion before discussion. we yeah. come back to yeah. yes. but it's so important take these up a second time. Yeah. Maintenance is always a thing that is, for, that is deferred because you know, it can be. But I, I've always been concerned that, that in, for the sake of saving a couple of bucks in the short term, we basically let the, you know, Basically, come in with a capital. It's like, okay, I can't. I, I don't want to hurt my okay. finger. We, we need okay. to move on. I had one other thing, which was the truck I put in for a truck this year. Yeah, I saw that. And that's to replace all all our equip, all our equipment on the truck anyway. Are all 13 years old. I generally um, don't ask for new new equipment. Uh, we generally buy second hand because I think that works just as well. Of course, if you do the numbers. But we're kind of at the point, and what happens here, the damn trucks will rust out. It's not that, I mean, they're cared for, they work, mechanically you're going through them. But if you look at my, my cost for vehicles, it keeps going up because the trucks are getting older and they're rusting out. And because we're sitting right here next to the water and the fog and everything else, is just brutal. It just beats, beats the trucks up big time. So I am putting in for a new, new vehicle. Okay, we'll look at that. We're allowing. They continue to make vehicles out of mild steel. It's awful. It's awful. I bought an 89 truck of wheels. I should say, I, we, you all bought an 89 truck of wheels for our sander. And we take that over, and the guys from the maintenance in the shop say, look, I said, this thing is beautiful. I mean, the, the steel is hard, and it, it's there's no rust underneath mm -hmm. it. It's an 89. But the thing, you know, it runs like a champ. But the other ones, the, the 05 is the newest one I have, which is a dually for the sander, which we had before we converted to the older truck, and it's falling okay. apart. Okay, we're going to stop now because he needs to change the tape. Okay. And we're also we're supposed to see if we can have a break. Yeah, we, we should. Delay, yeah, I know. We're we delay. Um, yeah, the rest of. Finance department, shared cost, debt service, and then. We're all set. Thank you. Yeah. We're all set. Thank you.